Hello, hello everyone, I'm MVL and welcome to an MVL Gaming live stream. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing and review of Hyper King's PSP to HDMI cable. This is a really neat cable, it's going to be awesome in helping me stream PSP games. I will also be comparing this to the uh, original method which I would use which would be um, component cables. I'll be showing these as well to show you the difference. Uh, there won't be any actual quality difference because it's 720 regardless um, but this has a zoom function which is really handy and that's going to be the big difference maker with this cable which I'm going to open up and show you in just a moment. Also it's a very big cable, 14 foot it says here. Massive massive cable uh, which is great because that means you can Sit a good distance from your screen and use it. Uh, the box itself isn't much to write home about. As you can see, I've already opened it uh, to set things up. Uh, to be honest, I would have preferred a, a, a cardboard box that you could reuse. The cable really doesn't quite fit back in here, but uh, let's open it up without further ado and show you what's in here. Just a, a big old bag of cables and a piece of paper that probably no one's going to read. I'm going to show you how to set this up anyway. And uh, yeah, inside of here, we just have the cables themselves. Now, this cable does require USB power, so the one thing you don't get with it uh, is a USB power supply. So you're going to need one of these, you're going to need a USB power supply, I have that ready. So I'm going to put that in for when we're going to use it into a power source. And uh, the cables you get, of course, you get the USB lead, which is separate. Yeah, that is, that's also a very long lead as well really long and that's uh, tied up in uh, this so I'm going to untie that and this is also a very you know a very long lead for the USB supply I'm going to get that uh, all ready for when I'm going to use it and here's the cable itself now as it said it's a very long cable <laughs> uh, it's a very long cable uh, both ends are attached now my only complaint here is that the uh, the HDMI part of, this, of the cable is also attached to it. It's a very long cable, but this means if any part of the cable breaks, um, you would have to replace the whole cable, which is not such a big deal because it's a fairly cheap. Uh, it's a fairly cheap cable. It's a very good bud budget option, so uh, it's not that bad. But if any part of the cable does break, it would have been nice if you could put your own HDMI cable. Then, if you needed more length to the cable, you could get it with a HDMI cable. But you could do that with an extension anyway. And here's the part that goes into your PSP. I should also note that this will only work with uh, PSP models 2000 and 3000 because the original PSP did not have video out. That's nothing to do with the cable, that's just the original PSP didn't have video out. Um, the other thing I want to mention about this is the uh, zoom switch which you might be able to see just there if it will get in focus because it is a dark cable but there is a zoom little switch there. It's a tiny, It's a tiny little switch but you can flip that switch to toggle the zoom off and on again, and that's going to be the uh, that's going to be the big difference maker with this cable as well. And there are some uh, there's some vents on the back as well if the cable gets too hot. Uh, but I'm going to get that ready to use. I'm going to go plug in the uh, USB power, which plugs in on this side right here, and then I will plug that into my USB power supply so this is ready to use when I go about and use it. But the next thing I want to show you guys is my PSP and I will show you that running from regular component cables that won't be using this cable just yet I want to show you the difference between the two of them and I'm going to get this ready and uh, plugged in so it's good to go when I want to use it alright so the next thing I want to show you is my PSP itself here's my PSP this is a 2000 model silver it's actually a uh, Final Fantasy 7 model, very cool, and I'm really hoping the uh, PSP functions throughout the entirety of this video, otherwise it'll be a little bit embarrassing. Um, to be honest, I think if you're going to stream from a PSP, uh, something I'm planning to do is maybe upgrade the maybe upgrade the internal battery. Uh, these don't have very long battery, and I don't believe they can run off, uh, off uh, mains power while you're playing them, which is unfortunate. Um, so I will be looking to get a, a bigger battery to play it for longer if you wanted to do longer streams uh, So with that I'm going to plug in these cables for your 2000 and 3000 models There is a port on the bottom here 
just to this side right here if you can see that same connector as on the hyperkin cable you have uh, this with the uh, with the audio coming from there and the video coming from this connector here we're going to connect that in and I will show you exactly how to set this up uh, when it comes to it with the uh, with the hyperkin cable and I'll put that on the screen but for, I just want to show you gameplay footage from the component cable now I'm, I'm getting the component cable to my capture device hey Juliana how are you doing my friend welcome to the stream awesome to have you here Juliana I'm getting this to my capture device by using this um, I think this is a Maplin component to HDMI adapter um, because I can't plug this straight into my capture device but uh, we're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and plug this in now this is another thing you guys might not like about this the, the cables you would have used originally which I have been using when I play my PSP and record my PSP for my video game pickup videos um, there, there's so many cables and um, I am going through an adapter which is powered as well so that uses up that uses up a, a lot of a lot of space and uh, it's a bit technical to set up it's great to have uh, this hyperkin cable which will be a plug and play solution that'll be really awesome all right there's that plugged in and i will go ahead and turn on my psp and we should be able to switch over to some gameplay footage in just a moment all right my psp is loading up and I will be able to switch over to some gameplay footage as soon as it wakes up because <laughs> it's it takes a little while it's been sleeping a little while and um, to be honest I've been thinking about upgrading my PSP model as well because uh, this one is you know it, it's 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 not that old but it is a bit uh, it is a bit glitchy so I'm gonna go turn it off and turn it off and on again the way you fix everything turn it off and turn it back on again I've also never liked the way you uh, you turn on and off PSP, to be honest. Uh, I've always found it slightly confusing how long you should hold the power button on, but uh, at least it booted up correctly this time. But, you know, that's what happens when it's live. Uh, I'm going to be showing you uh, Prinny first, um, this game here. Prinny, Can I Really Be a Hero? Great game. It's got uh, 2D style graphics. And I think this will be a good candidate to show you what the graphics can look like. My PSP is still waking up. <laughs> there you go. It's still going. It's still going. Uh, but then we'll we'll pop this in. I've got to set it to uh, I've got to set it to video out before I put the uh, before I put the UMD in. So I've got to make sure I'm doing that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's waking up. Um, hoping it'll hoping it'll perform throughout this. But like I said, I would probably be looking to get a uh, a new battery. For my PSP, if I were to, if I were to live stream uh, continuously with the system, um, come on, you can, you can do this, PSP. <laughs> you can do this. Uh, it's still thinking about it. It's still thinking about it. Thank you guys for joining me, by the way, uh, on this live stream unboxing and review of Hyperkin's PSP to HDMI cable, uh, which is dependent on my PSP actually doing something other than just being on this screen. <laughs> All right, but as soon as it does wake up, I can go ahead, uh, pop this open, and put the ah. Uh, there we go. Finally, finally, it's talking to me. It's talking to me. So I can go ahead and go to the uh, system settings, the connected display settings, and set it to switch to video output, which I shall do. And hopefully, we should be soon seeing some picture. I'll turn on my television, which I had off so it wouldn't reflect onto the screen of the PSP. Soon we should hopefully be seeing some gameplay footage. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop in the game, and I'll show you what the issue is. Other than the fact that my PSP takes <laughs> takes a long time to set up and uh, required a restart, um, we're gonna we're gonna go to the game, and I'll show you what the issue is uh, regularly with the games when you put a PSP in PSP game a UMD game in the PSP. I can't even talk. Um, but I'll show you what the issue is using my regular way because the games would actually come out as you will see in just a moment uh, Very strangely when you connect them to a TV Now I'm going to move over to some full screen capture You should also be able to hear my voice during this as well as the game is now loading So hopefully you can still hear me as the game is loading, but you may be noticing the gameplay itself do I want to quit the game? No. Okay, that's actually an issue of my PSP. One of the buttons. <laughs> One of the buttons keeps doing that. Let's hope it doesn't continue. 
um, yeah, as it loads up, you know, you may notice that the um, that it's kind of cropped. It's it's kind of um, quite small. It's not taking up the full screen. Now, if you had a uh, if you had a television that you could zoom in, you could fix the issue no problem. Um, but as it stands, it isn't taking up much of the screen. Do I want to quickly? Yep, that's my that's my PS3 doing that. All right, let's uh, let's skip that and get straight into the action. But that Prinny, can I really be a hero? So you can see here that the um, that the game screen isn't taking up the full screen. Now, if you had, a, of course, if you had a um, a TV that you could zoom in, you could also stretch the footage. But that is a bit of a pain. That is a bit of a pain. Uh, as it stands, uh, there is a function, a zoom function, on the hyperkin cable that can fix this. So I'm going to go back over to full screen webcam now. And I will show you the Hyperkin cable in action. So that was using a component cable. Now, honestly, there's going to be no sort of visual difference, except hopefully my PSP will stop bringing up the home screen. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the PSP cable. So first of all, I'm going to want to go to the, um, the home screen on the PSP. And I'm going to want to show you guys how exactly you set this thing up. So I'll go ahead and uh, disconnect the uh, connected display and then I'll be able to show you guys exactly um, how that works. So I have the video now back on my PSP itself. So the video is back on my PSP. I'm going to go ahead and connect the Hyperkin cable. Well first of all, be best not forget that I need to connect my Hyperkin cable itself to the uh, capture device. So I better plug in my uh, end of this to the uh, Elgato HD60 so that that's ready to use as well. And then I can go ahead and connect the other end of this to my PSP in the same manner. Same connector, same connector. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this on the uh, PSP in the same place down at the bottom here down at the bottom where there is the uh, connector. I can just go ahead and put that in. It's nice and easy. It's a snug fit as well. You don't need to worry about it coming out. You don't need to worry about it coming out. And all right, I'm going to go connect the uh, display again. Switch the video output. And I'll go to full screen as well so I, got it, so I can show you guys uh, that in action. All right, let me check if I have the zoom on and off. No, the zoom is on default. All right, here we go. So let's go to the full capture right now. Now this is full screen. Um, there is also the zoom function. You'll notice as well if you use the zoom function uh, that it is. I'll put the zoom function on right now, and it goes uh, it goes really big if you use the zoom function. So I'm going to zoom it out again. It still takes up the full screen, but if you have the zoom function on, it's a little too big on the main screen. But how you get to the uh, switching the output settings is you go in the settings as you can see here uh, to the connected display settings from there you just hit the switch video output and it will do that I have it on 16.9 widescreen and also you're going to want it set to progressive I don't believe gameplay is intended to use uh, any of the other functions so you want to keep it on progressive all right and with that said Let's go ahead and start up our game. So let's start up Prinny Can I Really Be a Hero on the UMD. This is an absolutely great game by the way guys. A hidden gem if you're not already aware of it. And likewise you're going to see the game be um, smaller on the screen unless we use the zoom function which will make a huge difference. So this is really going to be the game changer when it comes to this cable. That zoom function is very handy. So yet again you can see it looks quite small, it doesn't fill up the whole screen. Um, but if we activate the zoom function then it really makes a difference. So I'll go back to regular because it, this will be more evident. This will be more evident when we come to the main screen. This game is super cute. Character from the Disgaea series, um, Prinny. Love, love the style, <laughs> love the style, love the humor of this game series. 
Um, that's why I really wanted to show it as well. I also think the 2D style is going to be very good to show. Alright, so we're on the main screen here. As you can see, it's still letterbox, but there's a zoom function on the device which will make it take up much more of the screen. It's very handy. All right, I'm going to go over to a different layout now so you can see me talking as well. And here you can see, so I, I will show you guys in action the zoom function. And you know what, I don't want to jinx it, but my PSP stopped, stopped telling me uh, if I want to quit or not. And there's the zoom function toddle if I turn it off to default. As you can see, the game gets a lot smaller. And if I turn it back on, the game fills up the entirety of the screen, which is awesome. Um, without further ado, guys, let's start playing some Prinny Can I Really Be a Hero on the PSP. I'm actually streaming PSP on full screen. This is awesome. Let's start a new game. This game actually, uh, yeah, I'm going to play standard <laughs> for casual gamers. And uh, this game has awesome music, as you guys can hear. You have 99 lives on this game as well. And you need them because it's really hard. Uh, there's also a sequel to this as well. All right, we can skip the demo if we want. Oh crap, dude! I'm so late. Uh, how can I? It's so it's such awesome humor. There's Prinny. Uh. No way! Thanks, but no thanks, dude. Oh boy. Prinny Fox for my Prinny friend! Prinny Dude meets a Prinny End! Uh, <laughs> this game's awesome. We gotta hurry, dude! We gotta hurry, dude! Here we go, dude! Alright, stage start. Let's, uh, let me position myself. <laughs> Alright, tips. I'm gonna need the tips because I haven't played this in a while. <laughs> Jumping. Okay, X to jump. Alright. And yeah, I can double jump. Awesome. Whoop. Now, as you can see, this is a great looking game. 2D style character and 3D environment, 2.5D. We can double jump up here. Grab all those uh, sweets. Oh my goodness, and I just said it wasn't going to do that. <laughs> That's going to be the button sticking. Alright. Oh, and it stopped the music as well. Oh, it's back. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's hang. That's my PSP, by the way. That's nothing to do with the cable. That's my PSP. Being a jerk. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna want to jump here. Oh my goodness, PSP, don't do this. <laughs> I think the P the home button stuck. All right, what are the tips here? So press the down directional button. Okay, do a hit bound. Oh, that's sweet. All right, I'm using the um, I'm using the um, directional buttons here, and not the um, not the thumbstick. Or the little, the little kind of thumbstick-like thing you have on the PSP. Use a hit pound to activate the revive point. If you die, you reappear, reappear at that point. Awesome. Okay. Try that. And hit pound it. Nice. Pounding it. Alright, what does this have to tell me? Well, a slash attack. Okay. Alright, so I can slash in the air. Oop. Nice. Oh. Slash these guys with my swords. when he's got a mean streak. Oh boy! Yeah, I think this is a this is a lovely PSP to look at, the Final Fantasy one. Lovely to look at, but mine has a couple of uh, issues with it. Oh boy! Monsters have come out of nowhere. Give them a slashing. Um, but that uh, oops, that home button issue is is an issue. <laughs> I'll have to get another one if I want to stream it. Press the R button. Okay. Light. All right, I can slide the screen up and down. That's very useful to see other environments. That's pretty cool. Loads of cakes here. Oh, Can't get that one. Gotta go this way. Onto the magic carpet, perhaps. Maybe that'll get me there. Oop. All right. We got that sweet ice cream. We can hit, hit pound this. There we go. Oh boy. Uh. I want one of those sweets. Press the down directional button to squat. Alright, so we can duck this guy's attacks? Yeah, okay. Oop. Oh, okay, we can't hurt him. We just gotta run away from him. Don't jump into him as well. That's bad. Use a pound to stun enemies. Okay, okay. Great game. 
Oh yeah, that's an enemy. <laughs> I thought it was a collectible. We have just fought some of those as well. Oh, you know what? I can stun them as well. Oh. I, I guess if I hit them. <laughs> Gotta be very careful. I don't have much life. Ooh, look. There's a magic carpet. No, I don't want to quit the game. Darn it. Knocked me off of that. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we got him. Hit pound this. Nice. Tips. Okay, give me some tips. Press the triangle button to lift and throw bombs. Alright. Alright. Oh boy. You know what? I was a little afraid my PSP... Whoop. Throw the bomb. Oh, I needed to throw a bit further. Can I have the bomb back? What if I leave the screen in it and come back on? Will it respawn? Oh, no it doesn't. Okay. I guess we're gonna attack the bombs? Oh, can I actually lift these up? Okay, sweet. <laughs> oh, they don't explode by themselves. Alright, we'll get them anyway. Oh. Right, let's jump up here. There's another monster. We gotta take him out, dude. There we go. Yeah, I don't have a lot of uh, I don't have a lot of life left. We'll be hoping to regain that as we proceed. Oh. Get all of these sweet treats to improve our score. Alright, uh, looks like there's something up here. Another respawn point. Take that. And some more tips here. Hold the down circle button to make Penny spin. Alright, so you can make, I can make him dash like that. <laughs> That's awesome. I told you this game's great, it's very enjoyable. I mean, I partly wanted this cable to play games like this on the TV. Oh, we're gonna lose our life, dude! Uh oh. Okay, what does this say? The gate at the end of each stage to challenge the boss. Alright, we'll fight the boss. Give that a go. I know the boss is pretty hard, dude. Oh boy. Yeah, I knew that I had, well, I had a feeling. Because I haven't done it in a while, that home button issue might be a problem because that's plagued me whilst recording footage for my video game pickups. Whoa. Oh, he got me. I got my health back, though. We've got a minute. Hit that, you jerk. Oh boy, he got me. Alright. Damien. Oh boy. Oh boy. Right, as long as I get him in good uh, in good space, then I think I'm all right. Yeah. Okay, but I can't take another hit. It's a problem. <laughs> oh, I went right into him, dude. Okay. You know, I said I had infinite uh, continues. It's telling me. Uh, it's telling me I've got. Uh, you know, the game tells you you got 99, but I think you have infinite. Oh no, he got me, dude. Nope. Whoop. Oh. Gotta be wary of this boss. He's gonna make dive attacks. Is she on my safe here? No, I'm not safe there. Alright. Oh, he dodged it. Alright, we got him. We got him. I just gotta be a bit more careful. I think he's wary on my uh, dive attack. I think he's wary of me doing that. Oh, oh no! Maybe there's another life! Well, I mean soon, <laughs> perhaps. We can't take this creature out. Damien! Oh, they dodged it! Alright. Oh boy. Nice, that did pretty well. Yeah! We're dealing a ton of damage to him right now. Whoa! Oh, I think we're close. Nice! There goes the boss. Love it. This game's awesome. Stage clear. All right. Ah, uh, yeah. Another thing I was worried about was actually to do with my capture card. Sometimes when you change uh, inputs, I was worried when I changed from the component to the uh, to the HDMI. Um, that it might stop working. <laughs> that's the thing that can happen. Well, that's pretty. Can I really be a hero? That game's awesome. I'm gonna go uh, over to the uh, full webcam real quick and change to a uh, full 3D game so you guys can see a little variation in uh, gameplay footage. As I said, there's gonna be no um, there's gonna be no um, 
a variation between um, the what you'll see. It's going to be 720 regardless. This just means it's going to be uh, full screen, which is going to be awesome. All right, let me uh, quit the game and put the uh, next UMD in. And I will uh, show you guys that as well. So uh, what we'll do now is we'll play some Tekken Dark Resurrection. Some 3D fighting action on the PSP. Another cool game I've been excited to uh, have on the full screen. Hey Death Knight, how are you doing my friend? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Alright, let's, uh, let's get that plugged in for the uh, Tekken. As soon as it loads up on my PSP. <laughs> the ultimate game collector, I don't know about that. <laughs> Alright. As soon as my UMD loads up, I can switch it back over to the input and show you guys some of that. Which I hope it is loading up on the uh, PSP. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to take it out and put it back in again. <laughs> These uh, UMDs were very interesting. Uh, interesting idea still disc based media um, but this way this way they were able to keep them in a kind of plastic container so they wouldn't um, wouldn't move around too much whilst they're in there and uh, in theory that would make it a little easier a little easier to take them on the go even though my Tekken may have betrayed me oh there we go it started to work started to work there we go so one of the things about disc based media um, it is it is uh, slower to load than cartridges. That is that is for sure. All right, let's load up some Tekken Dark Resurrection, and I'll be able to switch over to the gameplay for that in just a moment. Really cool to be able to play these on the uh, big screen with the use of the Hyperkin PSP to HDMI cable. Pretty awesome. And the game's loading up now. My Existing game data. I haven't played this game very much actually. We shall see. Alright. Over to the uh, game capture. This is uh, an awesome game. I love the Tekken games. They're really cool. I haven't played much of this game myself actually. I'm just going to go ahead and skip that and get into the fighting. Another game I'm going to want to be using the, um, the D-pad I think. Alright so story battle. Okay, let's follow the story actually. I like the idea of that. Let's play a story mode. Hey, big boss, Naked King Snake, how are you doing, my point. friend? Welcome to the stream. I'm doing great, man. Thanks for asking. Good to have you guys here. Let me know if the music is too loud. This game is quite, uh, quite loud on the music. All right, is martial law in this game? I always liked martial law for his, uh, his kicks, Devil Jin. There's a lot of fighters. DSP was an awesome system. All right, it's law. Okay, I'll take law. Let's use law and lay down the law. I just mostly use his uh, uses kicks. We'll see how this goes. All right. Martial law, the fighting chef. After his restaurant failed, Law tried to revive his career in the previous tournament. He failed at that too. Oh. Law, now penniless, stayed in Japan to work as a dishwasher. A month later, his wife called him. Their runaway son was in an accident, riding around on Paul Phoenix's bike. Uh-oh. Appreciate you being here, Snake. Thanks for joining, my Faced friend. with his son's mountain of medical bills, Law prepares to enter the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5. All right, let's do it. Get ready for the next battle. I would always get very excited in uh, playing through these games to see the uh, full motion cutscene at the end when you complete all of the stages. I don't know how far we're going to get because I haven't played a Tekken game <laughs> in quite a while. Uh, I've been saying on my pickup videos recently I want to get more fighting games because I am not great at them. <laughs> Alright. Round one. Let's see if my uh, old abilities do me well. Oh no, not that. No, I don't want to quit the game. <laughs> Whoa, that's going to be to its advantage. Whoa. Alas, if my PSP's acting up, don't do this PSP. <laughs> Alright. It's gonna be hard to play this. Bruce Lee vibes, he does indeed, doesn't he? Yeah, my, I think my home button is like a bit sticky. And it, uh, it's like sticking in or something. It's registering it when I'm pressing other buttons. Alright, let's see if some of, my, some of the moves I remember are maybe if they're still usable. 
Dip and get that low kick. Oh boy. Sin's kicking my butt. No, PSP. <laughs> I don't want to quit the game. Alright. Uh. Nice, we got him, we got him. Yeah, I think I might need a new PSP, unless anyone knows, like, what that actually is, when your PSP keeps asking you to go on the home screen. I think it's just that there's uh, probably dirt inside of, like, the PSP or something, and it's registering a button press when it's not there. Get ready for the next battle. Alright, the next battle comes up. Also, the actual the actual screen of this PSP is a bit uh, is a bit messed up. Mr. Day is a story based Tekken modes. You know what? I really love Tekken Three. Well, okay. It's useless to resist. Useless to resist. This looks great on the big screen though. Oop. Even with my PSP messing up half the time. Oop. Get him with the double kicks. With a low kick. Nice. Oop. Oop. We got him. Oh, nice, we did that one, awesome. Tekken 3 was the best. Yeah, the force mode, they had that side-scrolling beat-em-up mode, which was just so badass. I love that. I uh, absolutely love it. I don't think it's been back, unless I'm wrong, since Tekken 3. Oh, oh he got me while I was doing my taunts. Alright, let's try and get in with some uh, cool stuff. Yeah, there we go. No, I don't want to quit the game. <laughs> Not while we're winning, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think my uh, I think my button's getting stuck. But you know what? So what it'll be is I'll probably get myself another PSP. And since this is a Final Fantasy VII one, um, I will just keep this for you know collector purposes. Get ready for the next. But I'll have to either figure out how to fix this one, or get myself another one. I was afraid that would happen. <laughs> but this one needed a battery upgrade anyway. This one was having battery issues as well. Round one. But again, guys, that's nothing to do with the cable. That is, uh, that is the PSP itself. If you want uh, a PSP that you can do this with, that will be the uh, PSP 2000 and 3000 models that can accept the uh, video out options, you win. like the P uh, Hyperkin cable. Round two. All right. Let me know if the music's too loud as well. It might just be loud in my headphones. Oh, oh dodge that one. See if I can get a perfect. <laughs> With my oh, not nope, not this time. With my really kind of lazy style of just kick them. <laughs> All right. You know, I always kind of do this weird way of holding it when I want to get like into a game. I hold it kind of like this with my hands pressing down on the buttons. Who's my favourite Tekken fighter? It's always been Martial Law, because he has that double kick, that kind of, um, I don't know how to describe it, like he does a uh, moonsault, like he Get spins all the way the around, battle. and it's just really good, it cuts through the defences. Uh, I've never been, like, amazing with this game. Hey Trevor, how are you doing my friend? Welcome to the stream. Great to see you on stage four. I've never been amazing on this game. Paul, Forrest was in an accident. I really need that prize money. You've got to let me win. Marshall, I'm sorry, buddy, but I gotta be the toughest in the universe. <laughs> you know, Forrest, I'm begging you. Shut it! I'm gonna be number one, and that's final. Damn. Oh man! through a straw when I'm done with This is cool. <laughs> Adding this in. Round one. Wasn't Forrest Law on one of the other games? That's pretty cool. I like these uh mid, these mid combat um. Uh, Oh my goodness, we got a perfect. <laughs> Gin's your favorite? Gin's really cool. Yeah, I've never been I've never been fantastic at this game, but it doesn't stop me really liking it. <laughs> Round two. Tekken and Dead or Alive games are fun. <laughs> I better know what you liked about Dead or Alive, Trevor. <laughs> oh my goodness, you know there's a Dead or Alive game uh, for the DS, I think. Oop, we got him. All right, that didn't work. But we got him. There's that kick that I really like. This kick, you can do him in. Uh, you can do him in bunches. Oh, two. I oh, got me this time. Oh, got him. I just really like that kick. <laughs> For the girls. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? They have the. Um, they have the volleyball games as well, don't they? <laughs> Number one. Sorry, Number one. Paul. I'll make it up to you with some dim sum after I win the tournament. Alright. 
That's kind of cool. I like that we have um, in the middle. Is that um, Anna? I like that we have some uh, FMVs in the middle. Dead or, Alive, uh, Dead or Alive was a cool game as well. They had some Xbox exclusives. Or Nina, sorry, it's Nina, isn't it? Round one. Yeah, there we go. It is Nina. Yeah, Anna's got red hair, right? Or in the uh, on the, in the earlier games, Anna was kind of like a reskin. Oh, she's kicking my butt. <laughs> she's kicking my butt. Oh no, we're gonna take a loss. Uh. All right, get him with a low kick. Oh no. All right, maybe I have to be cheesy now. Just. Uh. Oh my goodness, well, it's, it's best two out of three. <laughs> I dig that outfit as well, it's all sci-fi, that's kind of cool. This is really enjoyable actually. I don't want to jinx it as well, but my PSP has stopped doing the home button thing as well. Don't want to jinx it. Uh, uh, Anna has black hair? Okay. Uh, oh no! Oh, I jinxed it! Oh, they can still hit me while that's going on? Oh, that seems fair. <laughs> nice. That's my, Again, guys, that's my PSP. I'm going to have to get another one. But, uh, you know. Oh, no. That's cheap. That's cheap, PSP. All right. Well, we got a lucky one there. We got a lucky one there. <laughs> I didn't serve that win. But I take it on the PSP for doing the home button thing. Yeah, my hands are nowhere near the home button. Um, but I do play my fighting Final games round. kind of weird with my hands Fight. like this. I don't know if anyone else does that. As if you're using like a arcade rather than a controller. But I do play kind of weird. I've always played my uh, fighting... Oh, she's going to beat me. Alright. I'm going to be cheesy. I'm just going to do do the low kicks. I'm just going to trick... I'm just going to try and cheese it. Oh, she kicked me in the face. But I've always played the... Uh, fighting games with like a PlayStation controller I do it as well like this it's just just a weird thing I do like because with my thumb you I can't lose. really hit all the buttons at the same time but I can if I put my fingers continue. like this all right we're gonna Eight. continue I can't accept defeat can't accept Get defeat for the next battle the next battle all right we're gonna we're gonna beat her up this time hopefully we're not gonna get the home screen come up a bunch of times but we'll deal with it one. I'll see if I can uh, finish the story actually oh my goodness well, it was actually mid my move, so it kind of worked out for us. <laughs> Let's get her. Oh no! Alright, got her. Alright, we got her there, we got her there. With that maneuver. With us being upper fall, I'm more confident as well. Alright, see if we can do this. Oh. Round two. Fight. He's very powerful. A powerful competitor. Oh. Yeah, she's coming in with highs and lows. That's that's what I'm not blocking. Oh boy. And the combos are getting me. Oh. Alright. I do like using that cheesy uh, kick there. <laughs> but she doesn't have a good block for it. And that got us. <laughs> there we go. We got it. It's that cheesy kick. Back, down, and circle. You win. But it's hard to block when you're on the ground. Get ready All right. for the next Stage battle. six. Eddie Gordo, right? Nice. He has that really cool fighting style. Come on. All right, Come let's on. do this. Fight. Man, this is a blast from the past. I haven't played Tekken in forever. Oop. Eddie's another one of those um, fighters you can play where you, you, just, you can just mash the buttons and he kicks in all different directions, he's hard to block. But also he's vulnerable while he's doing his moves a lot of the time as well. I think he is anyway. Alright, let's go use the cheesy kick. Oh no! He's getting us with the combos. I don't know where to block. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I blame the PSP for that. It took us to the uh, took us to the home button. Yeah, my hands are nowhere near the home button, but that is uh, that is unfortunately my you system lose. doing that. All right. Round two. But the cable, however, guys, the cable. Fight. 
Cable is awesome. Being able to being able to stream these games, I'll get another PSP. <laughs> to if I stream uh, PSP games again, I'll get one that doesn't do that. You know, half the time it doesn't do that, but it has done it a couple of times when I've been recording footage. Oh. I think we're gonna topple to Eddie here, but we've got we've got some more continues. I think. Oh boy, he's coming in strong. Uh. Uh. All right, let me just use the cheesy kick. All right, we got him. We got him that time. We got him that time. Took him down with the uh, just a haymaker. Bored them both uh, square and you triangle win. for that one. Final round. I, again, I don't. I don't really have any uh, combo mastery going on myself. <laughs> I dodged that one. Oh, he blocked it. Uh. All right. Use a cheesy kick. Uh. All right. Uh, we got him. If I'm too aggressive against Eddie, he's just going to kick my butt. Yeah, l let's not roll into him. <laughs> All right, cheesy kick. Oh, no. Oh, he kicked him in the face. Oh, we got there. Yeah, the um, there's certainly a difference in balancing between the fighters for sure. The story, I really like the story though. I I used to play him through just to see the FMV at the end. And he had a daughter. The yeah, they they brought in a, a lot of younger characters as the story went through, um, into later games. I've got some of the later games actually. I haven't really played them that far in. But I did used to love all the way up to Tekken Tag. Tekken Tag had uh, bowling right. Bowling was awesome. Love the bowling game. You know, when you when you're playing that when you're playing a bowling game over the Wii bowling game, you know it's a good game. Oop. Fortunately, this guy's pretty slow, so we got him in a perfect. Did a live extreme beach volleyball. It was modded for reasons you can't see. Okay, I will I will imagine uh, that you just had them in different outfits, Trevor, and I will I will leave it at that. <laughs> Let's uh Oh no! He's gonna do a lot of damage to us if he gets his hands on us. Uh, gotta keep my blocks up. Oh, coming in with those slaps. Get him with a cheesy kick if we can. Oh well, that was a powerful strike. Right. Oh, Noctus against the side. Noctus clean out. My goodness. That sent the background flying as well. That was pretty badass. That was pretty badass. Alright, well we got we've got another chance. Fight. Oh, he's got the blocks in. Oh. Nice, we got him with a combo of our own. Oh! He's being too aggressive, I think. Oh. All right, we got him. We got him. Ooh. <laughs> birthday suit. <laughs> you mean the attire you might wear on your birthday, plus you being a suit win. you would wear on your birthday? I'm, I assume that's exactly what you mean, naked snake. <laughs> Get ready for the next battle. <laughs> next battle begins. Oh, is this a devil? Devil Jin? Is he gonna fly? What? All right. Well, hopefully he's not gonna be doing his um, devil stuff. I remember um, Devil, one of the previous games, could do cheesy laser beam stuff, and it was just so cheesy because you could stay on one side of the um, one side of the um, area and just keep throwing um, keep throwing laser beams up. Wow, he kicked my butt! He kicked my butt! He's probably got uh, more damage output than we have as well. To be fair, look at those strikes. You can't be mad taking those strikes. Round two. Devil Jin, yeah, this is cool. Fight. Uh, uh, oh my goodness, yeah, he's doing a lot of damage. Went for that pump kick. <laughs> and then just pummeled us in the air. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, I barely got a strike in there. <laughs> That's funny. We've got continues. We might even have infinite continues, I'm not sure, but we've got continues. 
Oh boy. <gasps> Continue. That's cool. Okay. Eight. Let's uh, let's have another go at this one. Get I gotta do. For the next I gotta battle. do something. I gotta do something more because he kicked my butt. Round one. All right. Fight. Can I just go really aggressive and just like hammer the buttons? Do the old uh, tactic as if I was playing Eddie Gordo. <laughs> I got him. Let's use that low kick. The cheesy low kick. Back was down the circle. <laughs> Damn those combos, I know, right? I don't really know any combos, um, to be fair. So I'm just going with what with what works. Trying to get my blocks in, trying to get my strikes in. Alright, we got him. I'm trying to be a bit more aggressive than I would normally be as well. Uh oh. Alright, we got him. Oh, he does so much damage. But we got him! With that somersault kick. I don't know the name of the move, but it's awesome. That's my favourite move that he does. Absolute favourite move. It's so badass. And we beat him. There we go. Get What's going to be facing on the final stage? Nice. Oh, Hayachi. My goodness. Hayachi Mishima. Shine. Whoa, okay. Are you Mishima? Ikonyu. What? Then I'll get the prize money after I defeat you, right? So, don't you All right. He is an actual devil. Taking his fun on the arcade, yeah. This would be good for a fight stick, actually. Fight. Whoop. I wonder if this is. Oh my goodness! I wonder if this this version has been ported to anything. He's so damaging. Look at he's hit me twice. Look how much damage he's done. Oh my goodness! I can't block that. <laughs> oh wow! Wow! That was uh, that was insane. Look at the arena as well. How the ground is damaging. Uh, being destroyed as we play, that's pretty badass. You know, like how the um, the Game Boy was like a portable NES, and how the um, Game Boy Advance was like a portable SNES, I feel like the um, PSP was like a portable PlayStation 2. It really had such awesome graphics. Man, he kicked my butt. He absolutely kicked my butt. Maybe I should be super aggressive and not try and block anything. Maybe I should try and counter him, because when I'm blocking, he Continue. he's still getting through. All right, let's have another go. Let's have another go. Get ready for he the does. Next he, battle. he hits so hard. He almost penetrates my blocks. It's insane. Round one. All right, let's do it. Fight. I'm just gonna be super aggressive. Oh. Uh. Uh. Super aggressive. Never let up. Yeah, I think this is the way to do it. Just be super aggressive. They added a Street Fighter character on 7. You know what? There's a, a Street Fighter versus Tekken game, right? I think I saw that on my last game hunting video. Alright. Super aggressive. Never let up. Never let up. Yeah, I'm not going to try and block. Uh, oh my goodness! And well, then he's gonna almost destroy me in, in a couple of hits. Wow! He does so much damage. Oh, that's what's happening. He's so tall, he's punching my uh, legs. So I'm not. Uh, that's why my blocks aren't working, because I'm blocking the midsection. Oh my goodness. Alright, get him with the low kick. Uh, Oops. Low kick for the win! It always amused me how you could defeat a fighter by kicking him in the back of the leg. No, I don't want to quit the game. <laughs> because we just beat the boss. Awesome. You win. Final stage hype. <gasps> Okay. 
Marshall returns to America after his success at the tournament. He meets with a lawyer to discuss how to repay his debt. Did I just skip the whole sequence? No. <laughs> oh, there is a cutscene. Cool. Oh, we've got kind of um, Western music here. <laughs> what? Oh, I imagine he spent the money for Forrest, right? That's why he's broke. Who's this? Uh, it's Lee. Oh boy. He's not doing so well since the tournament. Looks like his bike's totaled. What's this? Uh oh. More debt? <laughs> Wait, he's. Come on, man. Pay the bill already. <laughs> he's charging law for his bike? Round <laughs> one. Oh, there's another battle. <laughs> no, there's not. <laughs> We're just running away. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I want to do another fight now. <laughs> I want to use another character. And this was going to be a quick unboxing and uh, review, but now I really want to play another character. Man, that was that was sweet. Um, actually, another one of my favorite characters is Jack. Do they have uh, Jack on this? Or maybe yeah, King, the wrestler with the um, with the um, with the tiger head. Let's see. I might run through another one in story battles because that was awesome. Man, I really enjoyed that. I'm going to have to get a Welcome PSP that doesn't have that uh, problem. Anyway, Lily, I don't know who Lily is. Jin, I know who Zayu is. Kazuya, okay, Steve, Nina, Lee. There's a Roger Jr.? King, yeah. King will be a good one. There's Anna, who I mentioned earlier. I'm glad I'm not timed on this screen actually. Oh, Hoang! Hoang does like a Taekwondo style and you can just hammer the kick buttons. Yeah, there's King. I imagine they probably have Armor King as well. Do they not have Jack? Raven? Alright, let me see. I'm looking for the Jack. He's just a, he's just a big half robot dude. I'll play him if I can. They've got a lot of characters though. They've got a lot of characters. Asuka? I don't know who that is. Some of these characters I'm not familiar with. Hey, they've got Armor King as well. Jack 5, alright. I guess Jack. F we're on. We're on Jack Five now. So let's play as uh, that character. Yeah, Jack let's do it. Five. All right. So this guy, he's just really powerful. This might not be great because he's pretty slow. Jack Five, a beloved weapon. Gun Jack protected the physicist Jane when Tekken fighters attacked her inside Mishima Zaibatsu Heavy Industries. All right. The next day, Jane was saved by a G Corporation freighter. She became an engineer for G Corporation, developing Jack 4 and its successor, Jack 5. <coughs> they decided to use the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5 for field testing. That's also P Jack. All right. Get ready for the next battle. There's one. Let's do this. Oh, it's in a red outfit. Come on. Round one. Oh my goodness, he's so massive. <laughs> he's giant. Oh, yeah, his fighting style's weird. <laughs> but he's got those big, powerful arms. Nice. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Wow, that was. I mean, these are the early stages. You um, yeah, I remember Prototype Jack. He was cool. Round two. In the early games, a lot of the different characters were just to kind of reskins. Ah, that was that was the one I was trying to do the kind of chop because he goes to the top and then the bottom. You know, it amuses me that he does a, that a guy that size does a kick up. I right, got him. Got him. 
you win. <laughs> what is that taunt? Get ready for the next battle. All right. All right, let's do this. Round one. Fight. Julia. <laughs> oh my goodness! Right, that's a giant swing. <laughs> All right, he's really slow though, so he does suffer when it comes to um, he does suffer when it comes to blocking because he's so slow in doing his maneuvers that he can get caught pretty easily. All right, we got it. You win. Yeah, King was a. Uh, King was an awesome character. I like that his uh, his wrestling moves were very prevalent in his fighting style, and he could chain he could chain his uh, his uh, grapples. A lot of the other characters couldn't do. Alright, we got her. And this has been pretty fun. I think down the line, I'm gonna have to do some uh, do some. Proper Tekken streams, Get I think, ready for the down the line. Battle. Uh, is that you? What is she wearing? Round one. <laughs> uh. Uh. What is she wearing? Uh. Uh. And we thought we looked a bit strange. Did she have um, did she have an animal companion in one of the other games? I think that might be a core to that, perhaps. That kind of uh, furry suit. She's warm and fuzzy. She must be wearing that. I just noticed everyone in the background is in their underwear for some reason. <laughs> Uh oh. Alright. We got her. Get that. Nice. I took him down. Alright, sweet, we got him. Yeah, I imagine that's gonna be pretty warm. <laughs> His taunts are incredible in Get many ways. For the next battle. Oh, Hayachi already. That's interesting. So we had a uh, we had a kind of boss battle against Hayachi. I wonder if you have a different boss depending on who you use. Well, we face him twice. Uh oh. Round one. Fight. <laughs> I right, take this Hayachi. You're a jerk like everybody. Ooh. Double axe handle. I do not want to quit the game. <laughs> Got him. Ooh. You know what? I think he has a move where he, where he uh, takes off and comes out down on them. That might have been it just there that I was about to use when he put his arms out like that. Round two. Fight. Let's see if I can figure it out. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be one of the buttons I pressed accidentally, isn't it? Oh man, just throwing him around. Perfect. Ooh, a perfect. Unintentional, but it works. Nice. Took down Hayachi with ease. That was awesome. Oh my goodness. Well, you really let him have it. He might not be able to talk. But he's doing his uh, talking with his fist right now. And then let's complete. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. He has a move where he takes off. And then he can land Get on him. Ready for the next battle. I don't remember what it is. I almost did it accidentally. Is this Jin? Or Kazuya? Or someone I don't know. Very mysterious looking person. Dragonov? I don't know who that is. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. It's back and the bot and the uh, X and uh, circle. At least I thought it was. <laughs> I was almost doing it again. He magically takes off. I know, right? I think he's got rockets in his feet. Hey, Gamer B, how are you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream. Round two. All right, let's try and uh, defeat Dragon Off. You know, Dragon Off is. Uh, also the name of a wrestler from NXT UK who just competed uh, against uh, Finn Balor. Whoop. Oh, that's it. We did it. <laughs> Whoop. Even if it didn't do us any good, we still managed to figure it out. Whoop. Whee. <laughs> that's too funny not to do. How are you doing, Gamer V? Welcome to the stream, my friend. We're playing some uh, Tekken Dark Resurrection to uh, finish things off. Even though my PSP Get keeps ready for the next clicking on the home button. Oh, is that um, Yoshimichi? Round one. The sword wielding. Oh, there's wolves in the background as well. Oh. I don't want to jinx it, but I've been having an easier time with Jack than I did with Law. I think it's because Jack is very powerful. I would say that you can't use a sword in a fighting tournament, but I'm using a robot, so. You know, what's what's fair in that regard? Oh, he's gonna get his life back. Uh oh. Oh, we got him. Down to the wire there. Down to the wire. This is awesome. We've got uh, my. I also have PSB battery issues, so we've got as long as the battery wants to keep going as well. <laughs> right. Take off, maybe? I <laughs> just, I just kicking. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> we landed. Right, we did it, and we got a win from it. I'm happy with that. I'll stop doing that move because it's not very good. It is funny though. My favorite move was the one where he came in with the uh, cross attack with his arms, and then went low again afterwards. It just beats his chest like a madman. Day seven. Ooh. All right, we got another fight on our hands. Against this guy. Round one. Oh, well, indeed. Well, well, well. Oop. Oop. Nice. Oop. Nice. Jack is so powerful. As long as they don't get you down on the ground, when they start uh, dropping you on the ground, then you're a bit slow to react. Nice, but they power with those punches and kicks. Is that like a Ferrari red look he's got going on as well? It's pretty cool. You win. All right, do this. I reckon we can probably get one more after this because Jack went pretty quickly. Might try out um, King because King was no favorite of mine. Although I'm probably going to be the worst at King because he's a more technical character. Oh my goodness, I should have moved. Just hammer the buttons. Oh, there we go, with a flying kick. You wouldn't see something from that. Something like that from someone of his size, who is certainly super heavyweight, even if he is made of metal. <laughs> Look at those taunts. I think we've actually seen a new taunt almost every Get win, which is next pretty cool as well. I say Jay is Devil Jin. Let's do this. This guy was really hard as Law, so we'll see if he's with with King if he's a little easier. Sorry, with Jack if he's a little easier, because Jack is um, more powerful. Ooh. I can't get myself get dropped down on the ground. Ooh. Demonic angel of sorts, yeah. He's a really cool character. He's also got like a laser beam attack, or at least Devil had a laser beam attack that was really cheesy. Fight. Oh boy. I was about to say we're having an easier time, but then he started kicking our butts. We are a little slower. 
Oh boy. Wow, yeah, he got us good there. He got us good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to be super aggressive, I think. Super aggressive for the win. He's not happy about that. Alright, let's come back. The final round has begun. Big guy doing his big kicks. <laughs> there we go. Man, those, that powerful big boot took him out. <laughs> it wasn't fancy, but it was effective. And he got all of it. And that takes care of Devil Jin. And away he flies. <laughs> Man, if I could do that, then I could get to the shops much get faster, couldn't I? Next hey Slayer768, how are you doing my friend? Welcome. Hayachi again we face. How are you doing? This is the PSP. I'm playing right off my uh, PSP model 2000 Final Fantasy 7 model. And uh, it's going out with the new Hyperkin PSP HDMI cable. Uh, this will be an awesome fight actually. Because this guy was really tough as law. We'll see how he Round is one. with um, with, with uh, Jack. It might be a little easier because now we're also pretty powerful. I noticed my tactic with uh, with this guy was not to bother blocking. It looks good. It does, doesn't it? I think if I if I get uh, if I get a PSP that's not having the the issue with this one was having, uh, which is actually really easy because they're very common. Uh, we might be, end up streaming some PSP more often. Games like this, I think maybe I might do some uh, Tekken streams down the line because this is really enjoyable. And uh, yeah, because we could we could run through all of the character story modes. That'd be pretty fun as well. Alright, let's smash this guy. Hayachi's demonic form. Oop. Stomped him. Just stomped him. Oop. Oh boy. Alright, we got him. One on one. Graphics look better than you would have thought. Yeah, like the PSP was uh, very much like a um, very much like a portable PS2, wasn't it? It had that kind of graphical style. Final round. All right, final round. Let's just go out and. Oh, we can't get on the defensive against this guy because he'll kick our butt. Press all the buttons. Oh, he got us when we're trying to fly. Uh oh. oh. All right. Okay. We'll we'll have to take this guy. We're gonna have some uh, mashed potatoes and bacon. That sounds awesome. You lose. Everything plus continue. bacon is awesome. All right. I think that's our first continue with uh, with Jack. Actually, he's been very powerful thus far. But this guy was super tough. We knew he was gonna be. Round one. Has he got a mouth on his chest? Uh. That means he can eat twice as much bacon, right? <laughs> nice. Yeah, just be super aggressive. Super aggressive against him. And then they can't stop us. The game does look really good, doesn't it? Again, guys, this uh, is the Hyperkin PSP HDMI cable. Really awesome cable. Jack the Robo Bodybuilder. <laughs> he is, right? Alright, just never let up against this guy because... Yeah. I'm just not going to stop attacking him. I'm not going to stop attacking him, because if he gets to attack me, he'll kick my butt. There we go. Oh my god, perfect against the end boss? We got a perfect? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was awesome. And it was just never defending, just kept attacking him. That was sweet. Wow. Oh my goodness, well, he's, he's not even done. He's destroyed. Alright. Like that analysis is analysis. I can talk. Is complete. <laughs> Jack Five wins while Jane successfully retrieved Jack Five's memories and data from Machina Heavy Industries. Okay. Okay. Ooh. This should do it. My dear Jack will awaken again. Alright, so that's what this was about. We were getting the Memories for Jack. Uh, in almost a Frankenstein's monster scene. Uh, that's not good. Whoa. Oh, she's okay. Oh my goodness. Wait. Come on, stop. 
Oh. Do you remembering of the memories come in? <gasps> what could this mean? Oh, he's come back. Oh, his eyes return to normal. Well, normal for a, a robot bodybuilder. <laughs> but that is a happy ending. There we go. And Jack's memories have been restored. How about that? That's awesome. Alright, I think we can do uh, we can do one more. We'll go ahead and uh, do King, I reckon. Let's give King a go. I've always been a fan of King and his, uh, and his lion head. <laughs> or tiger, whichever it is. Let's give him a go. Bonus game is unlocked. Tekken Bowl is up. There's a Tekken Bowl mode? Oh my goodness. Gold Rush, okay. We are definitely going to have to come back to this if there's a Tekken Bowl mode on this. My goodness, guys. Let's give uh, one more story battle a go, because this, uh, this was just an unboxing and uh, review of the Hyperkin Welcome HDMI cable, which has been King awesome. Iron Fist uh, we'll have to come back to this game. Let's play uh, King. But this has been so much fun. Thank you guys for joining me on the live stream. Even if my home button King, keeps going off. A wrestler with the spirit of two champions. After beating Craig Marduk, he followed Marduk to the hospital to kill him. My goodness. Then he realized revenge was not the answer. Quite right. Later, King heard Marduk challenged him to a rematch wearing the Black Jaguar's mask. Oh my goodness. I won't let him disgrace my master, says King. They will settle their score in the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5. All right, let's do this. I imagine ready for the next battle. that uh, Armor King is going to be like the last boss, or at least the midway boss. Now we're fighting Jack. All right, we'll see how we do with um, King. I think King's a little, um, a little harder to use than Jack. Jack's very easy. Jack's just really powerful. We definitely had an easy time with Jack, man. And again, I don't know any of the, uh, don't know any of the combos, so we may not be. Uh, oh my goodness, we got perfect straight off the bat. But this is round one. Um, but there's open palm slaps to the robot. Um, but we'll we'll see how we do. You win. Tiger S that. I know, right? He's awesome. Fight. All right. Oh, elbow drop. The rock style. And a lariat as well. Rolls in. He's blocking my grapples. Nice. Tiger uppercut. <laughs> I know, right? He's got some, yeah, he's got some yoga style moves in there as well. It's awesome. You win. I have to fight the robot bodybuilder. I know, right? At least I'm fighting him uh, early on, because I think in the Get later stages, the next battle. he would be much more powerful and harder to uh, resist. And we're fighting Lee, the motorbike enthusiast with the incredible and unbelievable haircut, with his wolf in the background. Or well, I imagine these wolves just come with the scenery. Nice. Oh boy, elbow drop. All right, we rolled in. Dodge that one with the tornado DDT to finish it off. Nice DDT, that tornado style from King. Love it. You win. All right, let's try and get him. Round two. Again. Fight. Oop. Took him down. The figure four leg lock. Nice. Oop. Suplex. I believe you can keep those going if you know the uh, combos. Oop. Oh, he got me. Oop. Oop. Let's take him down. Oh, down to the wire. Well, we got him with a low kick. Nothing beats the low kick. He used to be a fighter in the Iron Fist tournament, then he took a low kick to the knee. And so ends Martha Law and the Wolves howl in his defeat. Yeah. 
<laughs> right. Get ready for the next next battle, battle stage three. A new challenger has emerged. Right. Round one. Asuka, alright. I'm not familiar with Asuka, she must be from the later games. Larry up there. Oh boy. Many of the characters have uh, vastly different fighting styles as well, which is really cool. They get a lot of representation in the fighting styles in this game. It's pretty badass. Oh. Round two. <laughs> Fight. Hey, appreciate you guys being here. You guys are awesome. Tornado DDT from King, who seeks to be the king of the Iron Fist tournament. Whoa, she got me in a schoolboy. And uh, a leg breaker, it looked like there. Oop. Oop. Or a knee bar. Oop. Oh boy. She's gonna get me. Double axe handle, flying double axe handle from that king there to finish it off. Nice. This game's been really fun actually. We're gonna have to come back and do this uh, you win. do this justice down the line. Stream some more of this. Get ready for the next battle. And it's ironic that at this point the uh, I don't want to jinx it actually, but the home button has stopped playing up. <laughs> that now it's stopped playing up. But uh, yeah, this game's been awesome. We'll have to we will have to come back and do this. King, please stop. It's pointless to fight. You're strong enough. Don't let Marduk's words get to you. Oh wow. So perhaps you leave me with no choice. Okay. I won't let you go on. So perhaps Marduk will be the final oh, boss. Fight. <laughs> Elbow drop there, I destroyed so much ground. <laughs> <laughs> Elbow drop. Oh boy. Drop kick there, shotgun style. Nothing beats the low kick. <laughs> we got it. Alright. Got the halfway mark for this Tekken tournament. The fifth of the Iron Fist tournament. Those open palm strikes from King. He won't be deterred. Ooh, Irish whip. Tornado style DDT. Ooh. Yeah, Julia's really cool. Oh, and an Enziguri to finish it off. A step up Enziguri at that. Nice. Kick straight to the back of the head from King. The close up. You're next. Very Goldberg style from uh, King ready there. For, the next battle. for his ending promo. As we fight our next fight. Is this Hawaiian? Let's see. Kicking style. It is Hawaiian. Right. Oh boy. Hey, look at all the penguins. Oh. Frankensteiner from King there. Nice. Oh boy. Gotta be careful of his kick combos, but nothing beats a low kick. <laughs> that move always ends the fight. Pretty awesome. Then his face crashing into the ice, and as if he was on thin ice, he falls. Alright, round two. Here we go. Oh, we got him down with a figure four leg lock. Uh oh. I think we can also, with King, do a bunch of blocks as well. So if he kicks, yeah, I can block his kick. That's pretty cool, actually. Oh, I do not want to kick. I quit. <laughs> we can block the kits into an ankle lock, that looked like. Or perhaps a knee bar. We'll have a look. Yeah, I think it was a leg lock. There we go. <laughs> it was so fast. You win. Nice. That was pretty cool. Yeah, those blocks are going to be really useful, actually. Get ready or those for the counters, next I should say. Alright, next stage. I don't think I'm familiar with this fighter. Round one. Lee. Fight. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, spinning kick from the masked wrestler. Oh, this guy's doing a lot of damage. Oh, probably didn't want to turn my back to him. <laughs> and he kicked my head off with that. I right, will. We'll get this guy. We'll get him. <laughs> you nice. Lose. All right, let's let's give it another go. Fight. Oh, he's faster than us. Spinning back kick. Irish whip. Oh, no, be nice if they stayed facing away from me for just a second, so I could get a reverse. I don't want to quit the game. <laughs> Not yet. Suplex! Uh oh. Alright, it's running down. Oh, he blocked my lariat. And kicked me in the face. We're gonna need to use a continue. We went for that uh, short arm clothesline. He kicked us, straight kick right in the face. And you then lose. kicked the air for some reason. <laughs> I always used to do that when I would uh, play these games actually. Uh, on the PlayStation 1, Get the Tekken games, the um, after, I, after I beat a fighter, I would end up kicking him on the ground for no reason whatsoever. Alright, let's do a redo of this one. In a very smartly dressed Lee. And the very Fight. dangerous king. Oh, he docked my clothesline again. Oh, and he ducked my drop kick. Oh. I managed to spin around into that one. Oh. He just uh, did a standing somersault. Uh, All right, we got him that time. Maybe I need to do some of these, uh, some of these blocks. <laughs> oh, I didn't block that one. I blocked it with my face. <laughs> I blocked it with my face. He came in, kicked right into the midsection. You my lose. goodness. All right, well, we'll Round see what we two. can do here. Fight. All right, I'll try and keep my. Keep my blocks ready. Oh, he saw it coming. And he... Oh, I went for an elbow drop on nothing. Oh. Alright. The blocks are only going to work if he kicks in the mid section, actually. So I'm going to forget about those. Because he keeps kicking me all over the place. Oh my goodness. Right. Grab him. <laughs> He's so wily. He's so nimble. He keeps getting out of my grip. Let's try and ground him, actually. You Try and ground. Didn't take him too lightly? Well, that's true. Alright, let's have another go at this. Try and Get take him down. The next, battle. the next battle begins. Man, this guy's this guy been a war for us. He's so fast. Fight. Oh my goodness. Stop blocking everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, Ooh. oh my goodness! Uh. All right, <laughs> he kicked me straight in the face. This guy's so fast. Right, okay. There's probably a high block. Uh, there's probably a high counter as well. Look at that king pounding the ground. To be, to be honest. Part of the reason I had, uh, hadn't played this type of game for a while is seeing that seeing King pound the ground reminds me that I would get quite bad gamer rage with the uh, with these kind of games. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! This guy's tricky. I know, right? He's so tricky. He's SSX tricky on the PlayStation 2. That's how tricky he is. You but lose. I'm I'm determined. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm determined to get through uh, this story mode before we get call it a day. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. This guy's Come. tough. Round one. Fight. Right. Oh, we got him with a tornado DDT. Uh. Ah, blocked you this time. Uh. He's so wily. <laughs> He's so fast. Oh, we got him. Oh my goodness. What a move. Story is special. I blocked that one. I dodged it. Ah, we got him with a lariat. And the low kick counter. Nice, okay. We just need to beat him one more time. 
one more time. And he's finished. The smartly dressed man. You win. Will be no more. And he's pounding the ground as well. Round two. Fight. You know what? If if I if there was an option, which there isn't. <laughs> oh, there's low kicks. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got him with a drop kick. Uh oh. Whoa, boy. Oh. Didn't want to show my back to him. <laughs> and he kicked me in the back. Oh my goodness, okay. Yeah, if you could use like a fight stick with a PSP, that'd be awesome. I don't believe there's any way to use a different controller with this thing. Alright. No playing around this time, smartly dressed man. I'm going to take you out. Oh boy. Rank and sign up. I attempted it. Oh my goodness, with a quick jab. With a quick jab, we took him down. Two to one, but still a victory nonetheless. We took him down. My goodness. You win. Look at that. Dancing around in victory. Get ready for the next battle. Right, stage seven. Hopefully this next guy will be easier. Whoa, that's a big guy. That's a big guy. That guy's so big. Alright, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully he'll be slower. Hopefully he'll be slower than the last guy we fought, because the last guy we fought was so fast. So, you showed up. I've changed my ways. I'll take you down fair and square. All right, let's do it then. Round one. Fight. Uh. Uh. Oh boy. Irish whip. You know what would be nice? If they stayed facing away from you for just a second so I could get him in a grapple of some kind. From reverse. Because I have some grapples from reverse. Tornado DDT. Alright, we got that guy. We got him down. Let's see if we can take him down again. Which is a furious bunch of strikes there. Frankenstein up. Nice takedown. Low drop kick. Went for the high drop kick. Missed it. Roll through. Tornado DDT. Irish whip into the... I don't know what that is. I'm just going to call it debris. <laughs> it sent him into a tyre. And that tired him out, evidently, because that's the end of that guy. Nice. Took him out fair and square, like we said. You win. We got the victory. Oh, he offered the hand. Time of respect. Oh, I thought he was going to slap it away then, but he took it. Helped him up. That's the way to finish a match. That's an honourable way to finish. That was a nice win, I know, right? Battle. Much less, uh, much less struggle than the smartly dressed man. Okay, right, so Devil Jin. I'm wondering if the final stage will be uh, Armored King. Round one. Oh boy. Fight. Oh boy. Oh, he just headbutted us with his horns. Larry at that. Or clothesline, as some may call it. Irish whip. Yeah, you that I should have a second whilst they're whilst they're facing away from me, right? Laser beams. That's cheating. I'm a wrestler. I don't use lasers. Oh, we got him in a leg lock in midair, an ankle breaker. Nice. That was awesome. Midair, we caught him with that. That was sweet. It's all game sweet. We definitely have to come back to this, my friends. You win. I'll get myself a PSP variation at some point. They're pretty cheap to pick up. One that doesn't um, keep saying, do you want to quit the game? <laughs> oh boy. Nice. Oh my goodness, in come the strikes. Oh, I missed him with that one. Lasers, you jerk. Lasers are cheating. Ask anybody. Lasers are cheating. 
The old uh, devil. I think it was Tekken 3. Or Tekken 2. Uh, you could just spam that laser attack. Fly in the air and spam the laser. It was garbage. Alright. Frankensteiner. Oops. Well, we tried it. We went for the Frankensteiner. But we got him with a punch. And that's what counts because we got the win. <laughs> no one's been as tough as a smartly dressed man. That smartly dressed guy was so fast. Faster than a you devil, win. it would seem. Nice. Alright, what's the Get final fight? The, next battle. the final stage. Okay, it's Hayachi, but I imagine. I imagine some of a fighter will be included in the cinematic if we can get to it at the end of the game. Round one. He's got a, a mouth in his stomach, this guy. Again, I don't think blocking is going to work on this guy because he deals so much damage that I've discovered it's best just not... Whoa! A DDT! Caught him in the midsection. And then DDT'd him. Oh my goodness, he's so powerful. He's so powerful. Alright, we'll see if we can get him best two out of three. My goodness. He's stomped on us. Stomped on what looked like the lower area as well, I'll, I'll be honest. It's tough when you've got to fight some guy that's on fire. <laughs> you think, I'm fighting a guy with, a, uh, with an animal head. Well, I'm fighting a guy that's on fire. <laughs> that's what we're dealing with. Fiery spectacle. And it's about to get lit in this finale because it's one on one with the final four to decide the finish like a best two out of three four wrestling match here we go with the final round oh my goodness well okay he's just instantly gonna take off half my health that's fine <laughs> got him with a drop kick oh boy oh no Wait, what's he? I was about to say, what's he doing? What's that? What was that? <laughs> he just said, okay. He, if he's gonna send out fireballs from his midsection, you lose. we're gonna have to play dirty. Continue. <laughs> All right, let's Eight. see if we can uh, see if we can do this. Get ready for My the goodness, next what battle. what a finale as well. Let's try and finish this guy off. I don't really have any uh, Fight. big tactic for this guy except the blocking him is not a good idea. Oh, DDT! Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh oh. Double KO? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, okay. That's one way to even it up. The next four will decide the finish. I guess that's happening. Final round. Fight. I would much prefer that than it have no bearing. Irish whip. That was so close! But we got him! I didn't think we had it. We got there in the end. My goodness, my friends. What a finale. You win. There's a classic taunt from King. Sent him down. And the match is in the ring. German suplex with a pin and the elbow drop. Looks like they're teaming up on our hero King. Who's struggling? He's crawling for the tag, and he tagged his former enemy, who we made friends with in the mid-fight, who helps us out to get the win. That's some nice storytelling right there. King and this guy teamed up for some super, it's like a muscle buster power bomb combination. Oh my goodness, that's insane! King with a muscle buster. The other guy with a power bomb, and they've got the championships. The belts are to them. Alas, we didn't get our hands on Armored King. 
But that's a story for another time. Alright, well that was pretty awesome, and we're going to have to pick this game up another time, my friends, because it is absolutely awesome. Well, guys, that was the PSP HDMI cable. This has been so much fun. We're going to have to come back to Tekken. And that was the... Uh, of course, we were showing off the Hyperkin HDMI cable for the PSP. What an awesome cable. I'll be able to stream PSP games um, from now on. Thank you guys for watching. This has been a ton of fun. And uh, if you like the video, please leave a like or a comment to let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. And if you'd like to, you can also support me through Patreon or YouTube channel membership. Just remains me to say once again, guys, thank you for watching. I've been MVL, and I will catch you next time.